All right. UFC 3. Who will we go against? This guy is easier. Well, he's the greatest grapple of all time. Huh. Let's do this and we get the fight hype to medium. Let's do that. Schedule camp. We have six, we can have six weeks. Ooh, let's do five. That's crazy, we have six weeks. Jeez. Mm, let's see, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, where we go? And we're gonna train. Grapple stamina. I think we're gonna do a bunch of grapple. Yep. Let's do this. I think we're gonna promote. We're gonna do gym discount. We're not gonna predict the five, but we're gonna spin some veins. Submission offense. Let's do that. Grapple. Yep. And he. Go. Let's do that. UFC photo shoot. Jeez. Five hundred thirty thousand fans. Here we go. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we cool. broadcast live from Scotia. You gotta take this level. Are ready to go for round one, and this young man's popularity absolutely soared on the strength of what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. He kept his winning streak intact with style points, and now. The challenges get decidedly more tougher. We'll see if he can keep the momentum. A huge punch. What is unquestionably the biggest spot of his UFC career. Slightly deflected. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the avid fans you've got to watch out for this. Let's watch out, let's watch out. Overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides, and a big part of his game plan, obviously, coming in here tonight. Straight punch. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Oh, very nice. Blocks the shot. Well, he got his head snap back there, Joe. The nice hits, nice hit. Let's go. Again, he's just not Come on. Defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Big punch. Now made his lower jaw very slow, but now time to bite 
huge hit, huge hit. Good hit. Got him off balance. Oh, got me there. Him with a knock knock. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Nice. Let's go. Winner by knockout, baby. That is nice. All good. All good. Nice. That's nice. Now we have to find John Linker. Jeez. Alright, 39 and 17. Schedule this. Weeks of training and have three. Just promote. Megan 
Daniel Levy, and this is your UFC Minute. This weekend, we brace for a crucial matchup, which is expected to shake up an entire division. To get into position for a world title shot, this fighter has fought tooth and nail against the best the bantamweight division has to offer. And while getting into a number one contender's match is sweet enough, this, is cool. if this fighter beats his heated rival to earn that shot at the belt, the victory would be even more satisfying. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight to... Let's get this. And now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, Houston, Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late. Oh, okay, you don't want this one. We are back and now underway here from Toyota Center in the H-Town. All right, so the rivalry resumes here. Here we go with round one. And let's see who can get off to a good start here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process. But both guys have said, don't worry about my emotions. Once that octagon door closes, I will let my skills take over. Let's see how it goes here early, Joe. So let's see how the early portions of this fight play out. You know about the massive power he has in those kicks. He'll attack you low. He'll go to the head. Let's see if he can find the range here early in this matchup. Connects with the punch oh. there. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Knockout. Oh my gosh, I got him with a knockout. This crowd is standing on its feet. Jeez. That was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, mission accomplished on that front. This is one of the bigger knockout victories. Jeez. The buff with the official All decision. with the elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest. Let's go. Well, there have got to be few things sweeter, Joe, than winning a rivalry fight like this Winner. in the UFC. Boom. 13 knockouts. Boom. Let's watch this. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's an old fight game adage that fans love nothing more than a knockout. If that's the case, then they will love this bantamweight banger, who was celebrated today for delivering the most knockouts in UFC history. A record achieved thanks to his devastating prowess in the octagon with his fists, feet, elbows, and knees. Dang. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Boom. Let's go. Nice. No, oh, for the belt. Oh, I got a new contract. Top contender. All right, well.